Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. If you haven't been here before, um, today I thought we would go through three plants that I haven't just, I just haven't been liking recently for a long time really, and then seeing what I can do to kind of get that like back. Um, and then yeah, seeing how they do over the summer. If I still don't like them at the end of the summer, then I'll probably get rid of them or if they die, you know, then I throw them away. Um, so yeah, I figure we start with the first one. It's probably the saddest looking of the bunch. Remy's probably panting in the background. Um, but it's my Aglonema Red Siam, I think. And I got it at um, Walmart last summer. And it was doing pretty good. And then I don't know why it has all of a sudden taken a turn for the worst, really. Um, so I figured we will repot it into this new soil and to a new pot and I think I might throw it outside. At least two of the three are going outside uh, and then the other one I think I'm putting into semi-hydro. So we'll see how that's going and then go from there. Throw this over here and I think I'm throwing it into this pot. And then hopefully I have enough soil to get us through both of these things. We'll kind of see. I just wanted to check to see if the roots are still okay. And, you know, there's like basically no roots going on or they broke off already or whatever. So like barely took them out. Down there. Let's see what's going on. So I think there might have been some root rot going on. Which would probably explain a few things. Yeah, definitely some root rot happening. Like they all look like the, there's definitely some new growth on there. So definitely, I yeah, definitely just need to change things up a little bit, basically. So I think this one is really quite pretty. I think was liking. It. I don't, but yeah, I've just been so sad lately that. It just, you know, just hasn't brought any happiness, really. But I figured some outside kind of needs that color. I need to put the porch plants outside here soonish, but just trying to make sure it was, you know, not freezing at night before I did that. But there's some of these dead leaves. So yeah, I think I'll probably bury it down to like there-ish on that one and then probably all the way down to like here on that one since it's not that super long stem. Up there, do that. Get the dirt here, or soil. probably too large of a pot if I would have a lot more roots but because I'm gonna bury it down further I think it will end up being okay yeah we'll go to like put it down a little bit further and then, yeah it's just the chunky mix I use um fox farm the ocean mix get the name here we have the ocean mix one and then I use pumice and then some bark and I don't really have like a set um, recipe for how much I put in I just kind of eyeball it and hope it looks all right Buried it a little bit further. That's all right. Turn it off. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping this one perks up because it was really, really pretty at one point. But yeah, it looks better already. But yeah, hopefully it 
kind of fills up, fills in, gets those bigger leaves going. And yeah, I'll water this and then throw it outside for the summer. Unless I decide to put it back into its home it was in. Because it was happy there. It's just in a macrame so it gets hit when I bring and put it in and out all the time too. Huh, there's that first one. I don't know where to put my completed ones. So let's just put it over here. Alright. So probably... I don't know if I have enough soils. So yeah, let me mix some more soil here quick and then I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. I have did my soil mix again. Didn't realize I was so low on my soil mix. I have now threw it all into my container, which is just, it's actually fairly large here. Got that mix going on with the pumice and the bark. Uh, actually pretty low on pumice as well, so apparently I need to, to replenish all of that soon. But anyways, this, the second one I am just not loving right now is actually not this one, but this is one of them. But this one I'm doing not soil, I think, with. So, scratch that. And the second one is my Philodendron from Birkin. So once again, I did get this last summer as well. I was kind of already kind of in love, not in love with it when I got it. Like I saw it at Walmart and then um, didn't pick it up the first time. But then we went back like within a couple days after that first initial, so when I, after I first initially saw it. And then I just kind of decided that I, got, yeah, I do still like it, so you know, decided to get it. But since then, it's kind of just, you know, it's survived. It really doesn't, you know, it looks has decent variegation and stuff, so it's not really a bad specimen or anything. It just hasn't really done it for me, essentially. So, but yeah, you, you can see that it's in desperate need of a repot right there so we're gonna do that let's put it into a bigger pot and be like a self-watering pot and then it's also gonna go um outside with the other porch plants so let's see if i can take it out here there we go that was a slight struggle but not too bad yeah, definitely, definitely needed a repot. And I don't think I'm going to disturb it too much. It looks like the roots and everything still look over eight. So I'm just going to maybe get rid of the loose ones there. And then... I'm just going to fill this one up. scoops here. Let's place that in there like this. I think that it looks all right to me. I guess I don't know enough about the Birkin to know if it's a climber because right now it's like giving me those climber vibes. So I'm like, do I give it a stick as well or put me some sparks? I don't think I'm gonna put a moss pull on it. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna put a moss pull on it because I just, I won't, if it's outside, I won't keep that. No, what at all? So there's just not any point. And but yeah, I kind of looked online and it just didn't seem like it was was a climber. But if anybody knows, I guess I didn't do too much work, uh, research. It actually looks like there's two plants in here. But yeah, this one did have spider mites at one point. 
So it's been kind of been dealing with that as well. But everything was treated not too long ago. So it should be all right. Anyway. some yellow and leaves on it but those are the way older leaves so no hopefully I likes this and it kind of starts doing better and yeah we'll see what it looks like at the end of summer basically and I'll have to look to see if I need to put a couple sticks in there can I help support it a little bit more We'll call it good for now. All right, and that last one is not going into soil. Here, it's my Calathea peacock here. So this one's been throwing a hissy fit for me. Like it used to be glorious, big, bushy, amazing. Uh, but then my watering, how I watered had to change a couple weeks in a row. Like I had to water earlier, then I had to water later, and it just really didn't like that. And I've always kind of wanted to get this one into semi-hydro. So I figured, since it's just not really doing it for me right now, that, yeah, why don't we just throw into semi-hydro and kind of go from there. There's a little grass thing in there. Um, but it looks like it's been starting to forgive me a little bit more like there's I don't know if you can see a couple new leaves coming out and all the little tiny ones at the bottom um, are new but I don't know it's it could, could just be me not understanding what the Calathea wants in soil so I'm just gonna get it out and certainly all my finicky ones have liked me better if I put it into semi-hydro so I am going to do pond, but we're going to do a mixture of pond, perlite, and um, bark, because I really don't have much pond, pond left. I ordered some more, but it hasn't arrived yet, so I can't just put it all on pond. I fig but I figured maybe if I put the bark in there and the perlite, it would uh, like me a little bit better in the transition, and then maybe I can switch it to this, like, more chunky pond, maybe less less chunky pond later. So I'm gonna put it in one, a glass container. Um, I think either this one or this one. I think that'd be the appropriate size for it. But yeah, I have to. See what the roots look like. Get them cleaned up and stuff. I forgot to grab water. Um, yeah, I'll just go wash them off and then come back once we get it out. So we'll just kind of take it out here. See what's kind of going on with it. Little bulby things and stuff. So this one had spider mites as well. It's right next to the Birkin. So not surprising. Also, you know, it's a Calathea, so really not surprising. Um but yeah, it's been treated recently for all of that and once again I think maybe it was a mixture of me not watering and maybe a little mixture of still some spider mites on it that made it hate me and lose a lot of leaves but yeah it's just makes me sad because it was so pretty before
Okay, I know these can be super temperamental, so I'm not surprised that you decided to not like me. Maybe we'll speed up through this as I get the roots clean and we'll come back when everything is good. right now and then I think I'm going to do yeah, over here move these out of the way quick like there I think we're gonna do this one no, no, change my mind. We're gonna do this one. I think I'm gonna put some luck at the bottom and then we'll do the perlite mixture, not, yeah, pond perlite bark mixture on top of it. Let's get back to the floor here quick. I'm gonna put this over here for now. Like is below me here. So I just got these cleaned. Yeah, another scoop. Another scoop. It's basically just gonna act as a little reservoir. Do I have a bowl? No, of course not. I of course don't have a bowl. I never have a bowl. I should really buy a set of bowls for doing this specifically. Maybe I have a lot more on like that. Yeah. We're still gonna do a mixture here. We're just gonna do a couple things there. Once again, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Mind you, I've never done this way before, so this could just make absolutely no sense whatsoever. But, uh, you know, it's what I've got to try. I'm just going to see how it works out. And then, yeah, we're just going to kind of pour it in here. Up a little bit, and it's okay if some black that makes its way up accidentally as well. Put a little bit more in there. See, so, yeah, I'm not a very graceful way of doing this, but it will work for today. Then we have something makeshift that acts like a bowl, so it's a little easier to mix this more precisely. Yeah. Dump some of that back. And really, I feel like that works fine for me. Once again, not like the most precise thing in the world. I feel like I could dump some out. 
And really this might still be too small for it. But we're just gonna make a do. Yeah. That should work, I think, I think. mix up some more mixture here. Figure that would happen if I tried to do that. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, just go through. So I'm never graceful whenever I do these things. Always a giant mess. So you think I have learned to be more prepared, but no. It's, clearly impossible for me to do this like fully prepared. It's generally very last minute just deciding to do it randomly and literally makes no sense half the time. Um, but yeah, that's just how I do things. And yes, you might have noticed I'm perhaps a little burnt on my arms. Apparently, whenever I go outside now, I just burn. But, I used to have a farmer's tan. I think I at least successively got it to be even, so I no longer have a farmer's tan. And that is really all I care about. I'm just going to top it with pawn here. Than trying to mix it some more. So we'll see if this one likes it. And I probably should have also, you know, had it pre wet and stuff. And I basically never do. So, and it's always kind of worked out. It hasn't been too much of an issue. Whenever I've done it, you know, kind of wet on each side as I pour water down. So yeah, and then this is Lacusa Pond. So it has that slow release fertilizer. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about putting like nutrients in it right away because it just is going to have that. Um, into liking just the basic pond from the Kuza, which is a, however you say it. Um, but yeah, they're completely out of, well, the regular Lakuza pond and then their basic pond. So I ended up ordering from a different company, but that just shipped out. I don't know for sure if it's officially shipped out. I'm assuming if it finally shipped out either yesterday or today. I did order it last week, but they think they only ship out like once a week and it's like on Mondays. So should be here at some point this week and then I can continue on with um, my other ones that I want to put into ponds. Yeah, I'm just running low 
on the Kuza. So this is kind of what it looks like. Obviously I could have done a better job of getting it better mixed and stuff like that, but I think it will do just fine, hopefully. And if not, then maybe I'll change it up again, but for now I think I'm fairly satisfied. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully it likes its new home and new media. But otherwise, thanks for joining me in this weird random repot of things I'm just not liking right now. It's obviously hot and my hair is like, let me curl. Um, but I will see you next time. I have about 10 billion things I need to repot. Sirius is moving. Sirius can sit. Uh, okay. Um, so... I have about a million things I need to repot and I need to find a better angle for camera stuff, I think, because this is a little awkward. But, you know, I didn't have too many choices this time, but hopefully I can figure out a better stable place that allows dogs to move around and need to have enough space to let them move around because right now I'm surrounded by all my things and they're all just like can I move I'm like no you have to stay but um yeah thanks for joining um if you have any plants you're struggling with love to know what you're gonna do about that or yeah what did you think of my plants how bad do you think they are? Like, I think that aglomnema is kind of bad. Hopefully it recovers. It's probably, yeah, the worst. The other ones were just more cosmetic, me not liking it, rather than, like, actual root rot and dying type of thing. So, we'll see how they go. Maybe I'll throw in some photos of where I end up putting them after I've given them some water and stuff. Because I think it's actually warm enough to put stuff out into the porch, so maybe I'll just move them out there. They probably should acclimate, the, acclimate them to being outside, but I might just throw them outside and hope for the best. We'll see. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining. I will see you next time. Like, subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you.